So today we're going to be discussing and how to use layers, layers and MetaBank Paint Pro, a free app. As our main layer is layer one, we can select color layer, which is a completely different layer to color on. And it's completely different from the first one, as if we make the layer two invisible, it won't appear. If we color down layer one, it it will still be there. To make layer one disappear, make layer two appear. You see layer two by itself. If you make them both appear, they appear on top of each other. You can change the opacity of your certain layer. And there's the blending, as we'll come on to that later. You can. Do a 1 bit layer and an 8 bit layer. It's mostly used for line art. You can click the trash can tool to delete layers. A folder which contains layers. Next is selecting an image to add. I've selected my image. Now I want to get into blending. First there's a multiply, which which goes in the back and blends in with the previous layers. Overlay, which doesn't see it hasn't been doesn't been seen as much, but if you change the canvas background color you can see it as it changes the color of a certain part. Next is add, which which only which only appears on where the layer has been, where the previous layers has been. Screen is similar to add but has slightly different properties. Next is lighting. Similar to screen and add, but if you add something on top of the layer, it is brightened. And darken is complete opposite. Next is difference, which inverts the colors of whatever the of the your current image and puts them on top of whatever you have on, on your previous layers. Dodge is, is similar to screen and other ones, but slightly different. As it only goes on the previous layers. Burn, which is in interesting, as it burns through the layers. And pass through only works with folders, but it does something else. Next, we have Protect Alpha. That only allows you to draw on the current layer selected. There's Clipping, which, which I want to import another image to show how this works.
First, I want to change the size of this image. We can zoom it in and out. Turn on clipping, and it sh and it's supposed to only show the shape of the previous layer. Next, there's draft layer, which adds a draft of your current layer. There's lock, which stops things from, from affecting that layer. There's effects, watercolor edge, and watercolor edge cloudy, just affects certain edges. Then we have the filters. Do saturation brightness. You can change the colors, brightness, and saturation of your select it layer. Next is Gaussian Blur, which blurs out your image to look pixelated. There's Mosaic, which turns it pixelated. Monochrome, which turns it black and white. Line art extraction, changes colors for line art. You can merge down the layers onto other layers. You can duplicate your current layer. Clear your layer. Flip it vertically. Or flip it horizontally. You can rasterize it, which turns it into a complete layer. It's useful for, for text. You can change the font, color, areas, and other things with text. And since you can't do much with the text layer as you can't draw on it, you use rasterize, turns it to an actual layer able to draw on. You can Move the layers up and down, which can be useful. Now I want to go over folders and add a layer inside the folder, which you can color on. Then add another layer in the folder. And then you can label, you can open and close your folder to hold certain areas. There's pass through, which allows the layers to pass through. And that's all I have to say for layers and metabang paint.